Welcome back to The Watch. Today, we are on episode two of Velma. Yes, the dumpster fire will continue for now. Five minutes feels like an hour. Yes, it l legitimately does. It's uh, I'm going to have fun with this. I'm just done with this. I'm going to have fun with this terrible, terrible show. Fun? Yeah, I'm going to have fun no, with it. No, that's not allowed in Velma. Well, it's a psyop, so let's do it. Let's go for uh, it. You, you... You say that, <laughs> but uh, despite what we've done on this channel in the past, we're not doing scene by scene. No, because th that, that's not going to work here. This show is just uh, too much of a turd to do that with. There's no, there's no little nuggets of good stuff. There's no, for instance, with Willow, we had Borman, we had a, the Prince. There's nothing like that here. It's yeah. all terrible. Every but moment is terrible. There's not even a sentence that is good. It would take way too long. And it would be pointless. So yeah. we're just gonna really just have a I, discussion. I think, well, yeah, one of the things that helps with having more of a discussion-based review than having a scene by scene is it gives us more time and freedom to branch out to different ideas. Because things pop up in this episode and just in the series in general, where we're like, okay, let's talk about why this is just terrible and bad. Where with scene by scenes, we need to be more focused on what's actually happening in that scene. Or at least this way, we get more freedom to talk to you about just the absolute idiocy that happens. Let's in make it episodes. clear though. There isn't a scene or a sentence or a moment in this show that makes sense. No. But, well, we're not, good. but there's other things that... <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's I good. even entertain... Like, this. There's, <laughs> there's no entertainment, no, maybe. No, nothing it's like, ah, like, even in the most ridiculous shows, they become cult classics for a reason mm. because they're kind of funny in a, like, a niche sort of uh, fun way. Yeah. This is not that. Like, no, it's this just is terrible. Just, this is pulling teeth. <laughs> the thing that's hilarious to me, though, is this is supposed to be a comedy and is the... The least and it's funny, the least thing, funny yeah. thing I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. I am constantly like just looking at the screen saying, someone thought this was hilarious. Someone thought this was funny. Why? That Why? is exactly the reaction. That's all our reactions, I think, for most. Like, we're either like yeah. gobsmacked, being like, what? Well, it's one of those things. Or we're just questioning. Did we mention in the first review where it's like, who is this made for? It's just 100% for her, nobody else. Yeah. Like, no, nobody. And by her, we mean the creator of the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's yeah, name? Mindy, Mindy Kaling. Mindy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one from The Office who likes to, you know, remind that she wrote on The Office all the time. This is not that. No. <laughs> this is not that. This is not The Office. No, but this is her unleashed. But like, you can feel it in the in like the jokes. Like, there's they're trying to lace Office humor in it because, like, I'm guessing that's her humor. But it's just, it's so bad because you don't have Michael Scott and Jim and all the really fun characters mm. that you love. You have. All these terrible characters you don't like. That are parading as uh, characters that we know and care yeah, about. Yeah, which, exactly. uh, you know, it didn't help. I was watching uh, Mystery Incorporated uh, clips recently mm. and uh, just comparing their version of the Scooby Gang to this version. Ooh. It's like, oh. At least it's recognizable as Scooby. This is oh, like. Oh, yeah. It's, like, if you yeah. watch this to begin with not knowing it was Scooby Doo related, you would not. Like, you would have to piece it together to figure that out. You'd yeah. be like, that looks like... I, th I think you would figure it out just because of, like, the character designs. Even though they're yeah, so yeah. far removed from the originals, they still have, like... Like, uh, Velma's still wearing the iconic orange. But I feel like my mum, yeah. who, like, loves Scooby-Doo growing up, if she sh saw this, she oh, would yeah. not think it was Scooby-Doo. Yeah, she's wearing... She'd be like, is this TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> what she's... is this disgusting mess you're watching here? She's wearing, like, that iconic uh, outfit while she's becoming a drug dealer. Oh, by the way, spoilers. I forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. episode but goes fair, places. If you care about spoilers for this abomination I, I don't know what to say and you shouldn't I, be the, watching this review then and you shouldn't be watching the show at all don't watch it seriously it's that really is bad. something i wanted to mention the hate watching aspect because there has been a lot of people talking about this lately how like even if you're watching it and you think it's terrible line still goes up that's all the executives see they just see these numbers going yes, up and go, audience people just, love this let's watch more let's make more of it and it's like no please just don't. just take our word for it and if you absolutely have to see it there are other ways. There are other streaming services. Yeah. <laughs> Possible deniability. Yes. Yes. Very good. Um, yeah. So uh, episode two is. A, oh, it just picks up pretty much. It picks up right where it left off. <laughs> it's so so terrible. And <laughs> there are things like for me the thing that where frustrated should we me. Start, though? The thing that frustrated me first coming out the gate was that it basically ended with Fred pleading not guilty, 
and us being like, okay, Velma did a break and entering. Okay, okay. And then it opens... Not pleading not guilty, saying I'm innocent. I'm innocent. And then, and then have me, them yeah, having, having no a... evidence. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that... But like, it, it doesn't make sense for him to be arrested. arrested at all. And then we open the episode with him being arrested. Yeah, and he's walking despite being kneecapped. And yeah. Vel- yeah, yeah, true. Twice. <laughs> and no Twice, ambulance. both knees. And no ambulance either. No. And then there was also the weird uh, thing that we noticed, which is they didn't give him any clothes. They just walk him out wearing his robe. And then the robe falls off and everybody sees his little tiny baby. He's Johnson. I don't even like saying those words together. Yeah, and, and his they dad s- comes out and just says, it's it's not small, it's scared. <laughs> what the f- like you think uh, we're laughing at the joke? No, we're not no. laughing at the joke. It's just this is the in a, irony. This is connected to Scooby Doo in some way, like the IP. I mean, yeah. Luckily, Scooby's not in this yet. I don't know about the like what we've heard about that, so I don't want to say. Well, no, yeah, but like I, I, I'm sure at one point they're gonna like. Well, maybe they'll just have yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have a little pup. Re- reimagine. Well, reimagine. It a, it's a cat now. Apparently, there was a Scrappy Doo reference in uh, this episode. As well. Oh, was there? Yeah, in the live stream that uh, Shaggy does. Oh, sorry, Norville. Norville. Oh, yeah, he's, just, he's a streamer now. He streams snacks. He's also, well, still a colossal simp. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's like so the king of simps, actually. Bad in this episode. From. <laughs> Can we talk about that painting he did? Yeah, he did this weird painting where they're both like, what, half horses with yeah. him and Velma holding Centaurs. swords. Yeah. Centaurs. Um, and then he slices it in half with a sword by accident. And he freaks out. And he freaks out. Um, and I... And Simpville goes to like sell his sword. <sighs> Simpville. I like that. Let's stick with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpville. And it's it just... Again, they make him this weak, pathetic character by having... What, what would you call? Like, cliche or, like, stereotypical, like, nerd culture stuff. Where it's mm. like, oh, he has a sword. Yeah, yeah. Or he does live streams. Mm. Oh, look at his live stream about snacks. Like, <laughs> aren't streamers so lazy? All he yeah, does yeah. is... Like, there are people like that in the world. But, like, they are now generalizing, like, everyone yeah, who's cool in the sphere Twitch, of, right? like... Mm. Yeah, so obviously, that's what they think of people who make entertainment that isn't, like, traditional media. The thing that just makes me laugh, though, is they don't realize just how... How... Um, they are so bad that people would prefer to watch that over this sh- over the show they've made. And yeah. the show, oh, it's just, it, I mean, how much money was poured into this? That's what I'm wondering. So before Fred gets arrested, we actually missed a vital piece of information, which is basically just a thirst trap um, of, of this ad for Fred's dad's company, where the guy mm-hmm. is just naked walking down the street. And then he's like, you're not clothed throughout your, like, was it Ascot or something? Yeah. 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 So many they, dumb things with this. This show is obsessed with just trying to insert like the adult elements into it. Yeah, just as like, much as possible. I needed nudity, and I love how the first episode they're like, you know, the first the yeah. pilot episode is always the most gross. But like, I'm kind of thinking, I no. Mean, a lot of people have said that Mindy yep. Kaling just must be. I don't know if I can say this. Absurdly horny, and that's why she wrote this. We well, see she's. So probably. <laughs> All of that was picked up. Yeah, we had to cut all that. That did not cut out. <laughs> we, we'll probably have to this cut does it. not mute the microphone. Well, no. it should, all right? Sure. Well, it doesn't. Well, we'll beat this it does, out. Though. Anyway, back to this dumpster fire. So, yeah, uh, we cut. We see uh, Velma watching the news, and she really wants to take credit for uh, breaking and entering and uh, falsely accusing. Falsely accusing. And uh, she gets the credit, but they call her Vermin Dorkley. Which hey, I think that's an excellent name for her. Yeah, she. I mean, she does look like a dude. She's she's actually vermin. The way that she acts throughout this whole episode, she looks like a dude. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a while <laughs> for me to process that. And I'm like, you look, you're not wrong. Because there's a part I think in the first episode, right, when they're like, is it because you look plain or you look like dumpy? Yeah, like, you, you're hairy like a man or whatever. Like they make the like, joke. I mean, that's the thing. They do it. She they make fun of her in the episode, and so now I, I feel like are we allowed to make fun of her? Yes. Yes. Are we? Is it okay? A detestable know? character like this? Absolutely. And I also don't think anyone is gonna no, be defending this show. Thank Come goodness on. for once is something we can all agree on consecutively, depending where like wherever you are from. This show sucks. It can bring us all together. Yes. Yeah, this, this is uniting us all. Yeah. Before the next thing that comes out tears us apart again. Yeah. But yeah. hey, we can all crap all over Velma. So that's all right. I mean, do you guys remember the whole angle of she, because in the first episode she had gotten over the, like the whole mum thing, yeah. and then 
she's back at that angle yep. and now she's pursuing uh daphne to try and get a file on her mom's disappearance mm. right yeah and daphne says five hundred dollars yeah so that becomes the plot of this episode. She needs to get well, five hundred. Well, the secondary plot, the the main plot, is the Fred plot. Oh yeah, of course. Um, which is uh, should we talk about that with uh, that scene where Fred has comes as a little... lawyer and yeah. uh, he can't even cut his own food. Okay, so basically, Velma's dad is going to be the one representing Fred to get him off because money, basically, mm. uh, which is fair. I'm all about that capitalism. So. He's going to represent Fred, and they he basically has to meet with him to try and formulate their defense. And he comes to the realization that Fred is a manlet. Yep. Yeah. He uh. He needs a butler to do everything for him. I can't even cut my own pancakes. That's that's cut that is. He what says is? that all the time. Yeah. Like he. <laughs> it confuses me how this character can be like popular at school at the same time at home. Like. Mm. How does it work at school? There's no butler. How does he eat? Does he just go like, I can't. Like, we haven't seen anything like this with Fred up until this part in the episode. Like, last episode, he was like all this a cool normal, guy. A like a normal person, guy. Yeah. He was like, oh. He's well, like, like a he, child. He still yeah. wasn't normal. Like, there was issues with, like, I'm allergic to ugly people. Yeah, or whatever. I wanted to make sure that we remember. It's I, an I, illness. <laughs> I love the way he says it. Well, I guess his man childness is also an illness because he yeah. really, really has a problem with cutting his own food. And, and so that's introduced. Velma's dad basically comes up with a defense. Let's make him a child. He Let's, couldn't. He couldn't murder all these people because he's just a, a such an innocent little boy. Hasn't even gone through puberty yet, as mm. like an eighteen year old or however old they are. Mm. And uh, should we talk? Just skip to how this plan turns no, out. No, no, no. no we no, got to no. go through. It's no? a it's a build up. You want to build up to? Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, we'll build, build up to it. But audience, you're in for a big spike. I do want to mention though before we move on, this whole idea about him unable to cut his food becomes a plot point a big one yeah it does we'll get there we'll get yeah there's, there's, <laughs> back to the whole daphne and velma yep, discussion let's, let's which is that, that's interesting because uh well which, basically w the the episode jumps between these two they're like oh yeah we should make that clear yeah. this fred is... arc and then the daphne and velma arc and oh, yeah. and then you've Say got that. like norville coming in between just failing at every that's opportunity like, uh, like it's... i don't even want to mention the norville arc because it just makes it so confusing when it you're does. like jumping between three separate arcs all at once it's kind of ridiculous i mean could we i oh, do sorry. you guys want to talk about the simple arc really really quick yes just we like should brief. just get it out of the way uh velma inter inter uh, okay i'll try that again velma interrupts his live stream mm. where he is pitching his uh snacks yeah and she uh Basically says, I need 500 bucks, and then he's all willing to do whatever it takes to do that. So he's willing to sell the sword that he really likes. Yeah, it's implied that that's like something special to him. Yeah. Also, the reason why she can't afford 500 bucks is because all of her money is spent on streaming services. Oh, right. Because she's oh. a good consumer who spends all of her money on all the streaming services. Yeah. Consume product and get excited. And then uh, the his, his, his Twitch chat, his streaming chat, uh, turns on him when he's a simphil. Because he's because yeah, like, oh, Velma is like, oh, it's okay, just like an Indian dessert, whatever. Like it's just like a dumb joke. There's a bunch of, and them. then everyone's like, oh, like when he, she she first rocks in, he's like, no, Velma, don't come on stream. I got banned last time. Yeah. You had a spicy take. Getting banned for having spicy takes. This is interesting. What is um, this YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> But even before them, when she comes in, because this is kind of this is how they connect the like whole Velma Daphne drug thing with with the Shaggy thing is Basically, that she yeah. comes in looking for money. First thing she says to Shaggy's dad, who it looks more like Shaggy, looks more Shaggy like Shaggy does. than Shaggy does. Um, it's just like this vase here that looks like the uh, the mystery van. Is that five hundred bucks worth? Could I steal this and take it from you and sell it for five hundred dollars? Basically says yeah, that. It says that a lot. And, so and then, he basically just goes to the pawn shop, tries to sell the sword. They won't give him the money. He then ends up trying to sell an organ to get the money. That doesn't work <laughs> like out it, either. It accelerates from like sword, organ, organ. Yeah, I'll and get to, organ. to then becoming like a bounty hunter to oh, catch actually, a criminal. Yeah, he forgot something important. He was going to become a criminal catcher. Yeah, that just he's going to be a bounty hunter. Yeah, that bounty was hunter. sword. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> You're right, bounty hunter. I missed that. Uh, he's going to catch a criminal, a bounty hunter, and uh, get the $500 that way. Like, that's the whole arc for his episode, him being a giant... But then sim. he doesn't actually get the bounty hunt, like, doesn't get the criminal. All of his fans, who are all druggos, get it. Oh, I feel like we missed something. Yeah, the criminal shows up at the place where he's going to give up his organ. Yeah, yeah. Like, the <laughs> criminal comes in, 
kills everybody while he's in the like the bathroom like cutting yeah, the yeah, basically yeah, drawing, 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 and then he the opens the door he's like oh this guy's here i'm gonna fight him and then all the fans come and save him yeah. and, and then he gets angry because they're all stoners basically. and he hates drugs yeah yeah we have and to that's, enforce that that's basically the sum up of simpville's uh plot line throughout this he episode. also gets rejected by velma because of reasons we'll get to oh in yeah, yeah we'll yeah. get we'll get to that yeah because he was being himself and being yeah. yourself you got rejected because being a nice guy you finished last he dressed in a tux victorian era tuxedo tux, and yeah. top hat so back with how the... does that make you feel tariff i know you like that aesthetic to see a horrible character dressed in that stuff well, that's fine i it's mean fine are you sure yeah well, it doesn't irritate you at all i mean he's a simp they are wild creatures in the yeah. wild so Wild yeah. creatures in the wild. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're wild. They're more just pathetic. Oh, no. Like, their brains are pretty wild. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Now. The conclusions. I just wanted that to be, you know, <laughs> clarified. I was nice to you this many times. <laughs> Sex now. Yeah. Um, well, there's uh, a whole plot. That there was a line like that where he was basically like, ah, yes, I will get the money because then she will blackmail her into liking me. Uh, like all the other teen romance movies, it's problematic, but hey, it works. That's yeah. like that was pretty. Like he close. says it down the lens, looking at you, being like, "Yes, this is toxic." I will but blackmail I'm gonna do her. It. Yes, yes. I'm not going to be. A, you know, just forget the fact that it's, he's being a nice guy. He's giving up something for her because yeah. he likes her. So anyway, onto the drug addicts or drug dealers. Drug dealers. Yeah, Daphne. And oh, okay. Oh, Velma learns talking... that Daphne is a drug dealer. I thought you were talking about like the stoners. I'm like, that's no, no, we just we just caught, covered that's that. Why I, we're going that's why I corrected myself. It's drug dealers, not yeah. addicts. They're both in this episode, and they're uh, both everywhere. Yeah. So Velma decides to sell drugs for Daphne to because... make five hundred dollars to and, pay and... Daphne to get her police file. And the lover. excuse is uh, that Daphne takes for being a drug dealer is because she wants to find her mum's. Yeah. I just remember, the way that they her like mum singular. Her, oh, true. Real sorry. parents, not sorry, m- not she's her mum's. Mums. She wants to find her real parents. Yeah. Um. But wasn't there also like a comment about Velma said that drug? She's too pretty to be a drug dealer. Yeah, too pretty to be a drug dealer. And then you can also, only be a, a minority drug dealer if you're trying to get out of um poverty, poverty That's or whatever. It? That's yeah. what they said. Oh, just yeah, crazy lines like that. But even the way that they get to her being a drug dealer, it's like, hey, Velma. Uh, you haven't given me a five hundred bucks. I'll get you can work for me. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. Is it like a a cool uh job place? Do they have a good uh uh office environment? Office environment, like are there free snacks or whatever? And then she's yeah. like, nah, I sell drugs. Like they're just little little inlines in the show that make yep. me just ah uh, everything that's wrong with the world. <laughs> Absolutely riveting entertainment. Yeah, oh so yeah, it's fantastic. Funny. And oh, but it gets funnier because Velma is just. She can't sell the drugs because she keeps on insulting the people trying to buy the drugs. She's that insufferable. I think this is like at least... It's one of those things like you can't sell drugs to a drug addict. Like, damn, you are unlikable then. Yeah, you're... Uh, I'm awesome. glad at least the show kind of shows that she's unlikable. Like, it would be more this annoying. One of those things, it's it's one of those things where it's like, is it ironic though? I'm just so confused. Like, is does Mindy sit there and go, this character is so fun. People are going to love her. How she's so edgy and fights back. And it's like, no, everybody just looks and goes, damn. You're insufferable. The I mean, qu- I'm qu- glad at least... The answer? Yes. I'm glad at least in the show, though, there was just this little speck of realism that everyone hates her. Yeah, mm. but... Everyone it's... hates her. I'm okay with that. Like, it, I would be more annoyed mm. if she was selling drugs and she just, like, got the drugs sold easily. Mm. Like, like that she was so perfect. Because at mm. least in the show... I mean, it changes back and forth, like, with the whole Christmas present thing in the last episode mm. and then this episode, she can't even... She's like... Fred, you're guilty because you're a white guy. Like, how can you... With a like, small Johnson. Yeah, yeah. And then after which she goes, actually, no, you're not guilty. Not because I looked at the evidence, but because actually you're incapable of doing anything for yourself. That's skipping ahead of things. But like, but the, I the, feel the, like... The drug dealing arc is so boring. It's so I mean, boring. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring. Might as well go to the whole Fred and... You know what? Let's... Go, no, because let's just summarize what the drug thing is. She goes to sell someone drugs and then it basically oh. insults them. And then moves on to the next person. This is just the pattern. This happens for a good, what, two, three it, minutes? It's like, it's like five people she goes to. And then the last person's her dad, I think. Yeah, there was, a gym, there was yeah. a gym guy. Then there was like the the theater production yeah. man who was very heartbroken that he found out that the main actress was sleeping with everyone. Yeah. They're all 15 year olds, by the way. Just wanted to bring that up. Uh, then there was, who was the other one? There was the actual dr- drug addicts <laughs> that she insulted. <laughs> and yeah, then the there was a pretty girl that she insulted. That just... And Went through the, the whole list. The last one she sells to is her dad, who 
obviously they kind of just like super gloss over it. And her dad says, I need your help with the Fred case. I just, this, if you, uh, th okay, this would be such a complicated issue in other TV shows. They'd be like, oh crap. Like it's one of those awkward moments. You, I think of like in the Simpsons where there's like that, that an awkward moment going to sell drugs and it's your, your parent. Like the Simpsons episode where like, what's his face? When, when Simpsons senior is going into the house. Bro, and you think, mm. do I look like someone who watches Simpsons, bro? Yeah. Since I was like a five year old. But this episode, I remember saying, like, uh, Simpsons Grandpa is 10 times walks better. In well, he remembers Bart's seeing there. it, so I must remember seeing it. Exactly. You do that to me all the time. What are you talking about? You can tell, I, I remember most of the But that, that so, episode, yeah, when, yeah. when yeah, Grandpa walks in, he's like, oh, there's Bart. I shouldn't be here. We're walking back out. Mm -hmm. But instead, it's like, Velma, you sell drugs? Dad, you're taking drugs? <clears throat> and then they just accept it. It's like, oh, oh okay. I guess that's how it is. Can we circle back to the reason why Velma approached her dad is because he's wearing a homeless beanie. Yeah, it's like, man, why do they always wear beanies? It's like hot outside. Uh, it's just such a terrible it's joke. It's meant to be funny. It's meant to be humor. And it just keeps on happening. So glossing over that little... Uh, yeah, what would you, gloss, oh, over what you just... gloss of plot? Like yeah. just boring extra bit? You get to the Fred plot, which is where her oh, dad it's... says, I need your help, Velma, to clear him. To and make she's him like, no. I won't, because he's got every reason to murder people. Yep. Because he's he white. Tiny Johnson, and yeah. he's white. Yeah. For someone who's meant to be a great mystery solver, she just, like, <laughs> projects, <laughs> projects a lot onto, like, people, and that's how she solves the mystery. I've been like, yeah, depending on the shade of colour, depends mm. how guilty you are. Like, unironically, people on the internet who make those conspiracy theory videos, like, 666, there are six sides to it. Yeah, yes, yeah. No, no, like, she, they are better detectives than her. Yeah, because at least they're like, hmm, mm. this is like... They may be putting... They evidence of some sort. Where Velma's just like, <laughs> you're blonde. You are guilty. Yeah. Because I said so. I uh, mean, and that's the thing, she doesn't even, like, question her own... Uh, well, that, it's really important, because when... Just, when they sit down and actually show her the brief of evidence, she goes, hmm, nope, he's guilty, he's yeah, white. Yeah, he's definitely guilty. And uh, then that, the, that was the end of that. And then Fred goes, cutsies! Uh, and then she realizes, oh my god, he's innocent! Yeah. And everyone's he's... like, what? So Velma realizes that he's an incompetent little manlet and can't cut his own food as well as her father. So she realizes he's innocent. Then we have the a glorious scene. I would say the the penultimate scene. It's not really a penultimate because it's like in the middle. Yeah, but I would was... say like in terms of content and <laughs> truly exemplifying what this show is, uh, this scene was magical. Oh, it's just amazing. The because remember, the Velma's dad's plan was to make the world see Fred as this little incompetent, innocent little boy, <laughs> and it works. That, out. They meant that literally. Mm. Like, they give him, like, a lollipop. He has, like, the little hair thing. He's got, like, rosy cheeks and all the makeup. Like, man, if you saw a kid, like, a, a 18 year old, as well. like, dressed like that, like, you would think that they are mentally ill. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, this is modern day. Someone dressed like that in modern day it kind of sticks like a sore thumb. Like, yeah. it'd make more sense to give him, like, a little, like, you know, backwards <laughs> cap and, like, a Fortnite t shirt and something, you know? Well, a propeller on it. Yeah, it? like, <laughs> it would make a little bit more sense. I'm mean, after all they were missing with this scene, to be honest. With this one, they went back like an extra hundred years of when they didn't need to. Yes. <laughs> and the reporters and everybody buys it. Obviously. Oh, yeah. They just, they're just like, oh, yeah. You couldn't you kill it? anyone. You're too cute. You're too, yeah. Yeah, you're too innocent. And then. But then the rain comes. <laughs> it rains for like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. It rains for about 10 seconds. And all his makeup comes off. He One has, of the eyelashes comes yeah, off. He has fake eyelashes on some reason. And it's uh, it gets stuck in a really peculiar pa uh, place. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh. Maybe we'll flash up a picture. <laughs> what? <the> <laughs> <f> <laughs> what? I just got an itch. Um. He really basically, <laughs> you know, wants to. I don't even know how can we describe this scene without being demonetized. Well, then, then uh, this is the annoying thing, too, in this episode. He looks episode. like the bad man. He looks like the bad man. The very, Someone... very bad man who was uh, very nasty to a very it's... certain group of people. And it's weird, like, they have this commentary as well where this guy's like, oh, man, it isn't it a shame how we always compare, group, uh, compare yeah. anyone yeah, who looks to similar this, to him. To the bad man. Just put them back, like, put them all in the same boat. We yeah. all group them up to be the same person. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that ironic, viewers who are watching? Anyway, I'm going to walk away now because we, I'm we the also, bystander. Yeah, while that's all happening, he's trying to, like, Put his hand in the way of He's the like, cameras. Oh, don't, don't you? Don't, don't. Neither of you put your hand up. 
I did it like this. Yeah, but this. <laughs> uh, you can make the comparison, audience. This is a scene that happens. That we didn't. They put it in. Do you think right? they put this stuff in so that like reviewers yeah, like yeah. us, it's like yeah. harder for us to repeat okay. the like show? Catching, catching in a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap. What do we say? It was this. Uh, <laughs> was this point I was like, wow. Yeah, they went there. Ooh. Yeah, they went there, and they thought it was funny. It wasn't very funny. I mean, it was absurd. <laughs> this show. This is so bad. It's oh. <sighs> That's the thing. It doesn't get much better. It, just, it gets worse, actually. Because yeah. when Fred's actually in court, uh, well, yeah, they basically have the to defenses. back at square one to, the, to you know, make him look like an innocent person that couldn't harm anyone. So and, they get him to cut his own meat. Well, and, yeah, Velma uh, first says... But a steak, a steak on the plate. A steak, yeah. I would like to mention that Velma first says, oh, he's got every reason to be a murderer. Yeah. But that's just her unlikableness and absolutely just like you're a terrible person. Yeah, but it person. reinforces the tiny Johnson joke. But that's she very important. Her, her defense to this, I think, was when she was selling drugs. She's like, yeah, I'm like a comedian. No filter before the Me Too mu movement. Whatever. Like, just, just a whole commentary on this, like, other political... Like, that's basically all Velma mm -hmm. ever says. Just some weird offhanded political <laughs> opinion. Anyway, back to the court. To defend herself. Not like, Fred. Back to the court. Um, yeah, they they bring out a not a nice juicy steak. Yeah, and they're like, cut it. And he obviously can't. No, he, he's a man. And, and he's so so <laughs> stupid. I mean, who takes the end of a knife and just like, yeah, that's out. Well, I mean, could you at least try well, to make it look somewhat basement else? dwellers? I guess. I mean, I don't even know. Like, he's not a basement who is, dweller. Who is it even a representative uh, representation of? Know. I'm just confused. None of us are rich white people, so I have. I don't I know. I still think that they could feed themselves, though. Yeah, like. Well, I mean, what I'm trying to get at is there are funnier ways to do that joke, even if you it's like a it, flawed premise. It's just the joke of like they're rich, so they don't have to do literally anything or even feed themselves. But the problem is, it's, it's just not a funny like. It's yeah, just it's too dumb. Much. It, it, you, Especially when he starts rolling the plate over the meat. Yeah, you it's just like, cross the line where it's like this why wasn't funny and now you're just trying way just too being... hard to get like even yeah. a single laugh out of us and it's not working you're being retarded for the sake of being retarded that's really all it is and you're hoping we'll laugh at it yeah and and that's the thing it it works it works he's about to become yeah about like, to be uh, innocent and yeah, everyone's innocent. laughing he's like oh he's a pathetic boy look at him he can't do anything he's so useless and he gets very upset he's who bad. would like to take over from here <laughs> Yeah, that's it, Tyrant. You can do it. All right, so he basically jumps up on the table like a psycho, and he because he has blood from the steak on his face. Yeah, because he stepped on it. Uh, he has blood on his face and over him from the steak, and he goes pretty much. Able. Goes yeah. crazy. Yeah. He's like, I, I could have killed them. I could have done this. <laughs> and so he's found guilty. Yeah. Because, yeah. And he's thrown in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, the evidence for all of this is... I'm not even gonna say tenuous at best, non-existent at best. It's just all That's court. At best as well. It is yeah. all courtroom drama. There's actually no evidence to, because it could be a crazy guy who just like killed someone else instead. But, but think about it, what's the evidence exactly? Any DNA evidence? No. no. Any forensic evidence? No. How about the evidence of murdering the the chick and putting her in the bin? Well, he was in the shower mm. at his house, like, yeah, you oh, know, like right. being arrested, like. like what did he do exactly? Velma broke into his house and he pulled out a check. Yeah. And said, I was going to pay you off. Like yeah. He said, I'm yeah. going to pay you off. Yeah, he said it like in I front paid of off the, the young, Like other woman. Yeah. In front of the cops. Like, so, oh, so stupid. So, it's, it's like everyone else. Everyone. I want to I insult it with Scooby-Doo writing, but Scooby-Doo writing is better than this. Like actual Scooby-Doo. <laughs> At least like Velma could figure some of out. The, <laughs> some of the mysteries in like that Mystery Incorporated show were actually well yeah, done. This is like uh, few of them. That's maybe, maybe that's part of the irony. Like what? it's a Scooby-Doo show where the, the mystery solving is just so terrible, terrible, that even Scooby-Doo think there's terrible mystery solving work. Hmm. I mean, it's quite an achievement in that case. Well, the thing is, Velma thinks that she's the best detective in the world. She's just oh, yeah. so good at it. Yeah, she's so good. She drove her Despite away. showing literally no evidence to that. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, and barely questioning her, you know. 
how she got there. Oh, and then should we f- talk about how the episode basically finishes? Yeah, we got to go to circle right to Daphne. We got to go right there so now. Ah, oh. there's tension between Velma and Daphne, Daphne throughout, throughout their the drug episode. dealing antics. Yeah. Lots of close faces, lots of blushing, yeah. lots of oh no, I tripped on top of you. Well, I mean, I mean that's the thing they bonded over. When you're... I guess that tension builds up naturally. But they bonded so much over the chase scene when they were running from Daphne's parents. It's just... Wasn't that just such a funny scene? No, it was Especially boring. how it stopped. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it they was nearly like ran a... over a child. And then we're like, <laughs> it's so cute. And the way that, that um, Daphne like distracts her mums is like, hey, I adopted a stray cat at home. And they're like, oh my gosh, let's go home and look after the cat. Because we don't like to stereotype certain people, do we? <sighs> this show does, though. Anyways. Back to the... <laughs> we get to the point where uh, Velma and Daphne are at their house. She gives her the file because whatever. Yeah. But she has to give back the drugs because she stole some drugs from Daphne, her, her, her friend or her frenemy, whatever you want to call them. Anyway. Well, that's the thing. Potential, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she starts... Uh, her mental illness is back. Yeah, the ghostly version of her mother is strangling her again. Yep. And uh, well, basically she does... something funny needs to be said to Velma to break Could... her out. Of she it. doesn't have Simville around yeah, to tell her around. that he loves her and that she's the most important thing. Like, she doesn't have that this no. time. Now Even she... though he's like across the road. We'll, the we'll, like, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. I think we're dead. Uh, we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, Daphne does something... Oh, Stunning and brave, really. Uh, um, she yeah. kisses Velma, and then they just lock lips, yep. schmack lips, for and the that rest of the fixes episode. her mental illness. Yeah, it just makes the hallucination go away. It's that magical. And then skipping right past that, we go to the uh, shot right across the road where Simpville is standing there in the <laughs> in his full getup, the eighteen hundreds, like tuxedo and top hat with even a monocle just, i'm uh, surprised they didn't put a fedora on him for that one uh he has flowers and everything and he goes what did what it was he's the... like that's what i get for being myself yeah, yeah. something sad and depressing like that yeah so hopefully we get um chadville in the next episode who knows no i highly 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 <laughs> doubt it's it not happening. but a man can dream uh but yeah that's basically Velma episode two. Well, then, then the ending part is when Fred's in prison with. I didn't see that. No, you didn't see that. No, no. did I. Well, I, I thought it was it. ended, so I wanted to oh, end yeah, the show. Here's what me and Tyrant did. We saw credits and we're like, <laughs> okay, we're out. I'm done with this. <laughs> well, yeah, there's a part where Fred meets the uh the criminal that Simphil attempted to uh, arrested. Oh, so right. they're both in the same prison cell. Right. Yep. Cool. That's gonna end. Uh. Well. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll be I'm sure great. that's not gonna be any jokes about you know. Uh, oh, I can already <laughs> say it. Uh, Prison culture. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, uh, look, it was really bad. It was yeah, really that's bad. episode. Was it episode two? Yeah, episode two. There's episode so much, two. and that's the thing. There's so much cringe that we just we can't uh, articulate properly. Yeah, there's so much. So this once, show is an abomination. So once again, I would like to finish off on a on a very important note. Really, if you're a fan of Scooby Doo, this isn't for you. Don't hate watch this thing because if you hate watch it, then stonks go up. They just see positive, fi- well, not positive feedback, but like positive numbers mm. for the show. So they want to make more of it. The, the world it cannot handle this. I feel like, uh, mm. no, we yeah. can't. Yeah. And uh, the, this... re- the only reason we watch it is so that you don't have to watch it. Yeah. Just look. And so, because I know some of you are way too curious. Okay, some of you like watching us suffer, which, you know what, fair enough. You're sadistic. I get that. Then don't don't make our suffering worse. Some of you are like, I want to watch you guys tell me about the show because it's better than watching the show. And so we do that for you. So you can, you know, watch it through us. I mean, just, you know, our matey. You know, just, yeah, there's that way. There's always that way. Yeah. Which I feel is more. Or, you know, just watch it at your friend's house. (laughs) 
Why? Someone who's not your friend and that you don't like and want to I, use. I want to. I got something great to show you guys. I'm going to put on Thelma. Go to your enemy's house and be like, bro, new HBO series. You know what? I just figured out a use for this show. A litmus test. Take it to someone you don't really know that well. And you're like, "Mm, can we be friends or not? And just sit down and watch it with them and see how they act. If they sit there and go, ah, this is fantastic. Go, okay. You book it. You book it. I'm going to leave now. We're emotionally scarred from this show. So please don't make our suffering be worth nothing. Don't watch this show. Oh, Let it be cancelled. There's eight more episodes, and I don't what? think... What? Isn't there? In terms, of, in terms of numbers, I think it was 10 episode series. We've watched two, therefore eight episodes left. Um, right, okay. So let's pretend that didn't happen. Anyways, that's our roundup of episode two. Would you like to take us out, Nathan? To dinner? <laughs> to run? I want to run for the <laughs> Stay and watch. watch.